डू यू नो ओवर थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड चिल्ड्रन इन इंडिया आर बॉर्न विद क्लेफ्ट लिप एंड क्लेफ्ट पैलेट हाई दिस इज डॉक्टर मनु शर्मा कंसल्टेंट इन पीडियाट्रिक्स एंड न्यूनोटोलॉजी एट मैक्स सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल मोहाली टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट ऑल यू नीड टू नो अबाउट क्लेफ्ट लिप एंड पैलेट क्लेफ्ट लिप इज अ मिड लाइन कंजेनाइटल डिफेक्ट विच अकर्स इन द अपर बॉर्डर ऑफ लिप इट मे एक्सटेंड अप टू एनी लेंथ टू द नोज इट मे बी यूनिलेटरल और बायोलेटरल दैट इज इन्वॉल्विंग वन साइड और बोथ साइड अ क्लेफ्ट पैलेट इज डिफेक्ट इन द रूफ ऑफ द माउथ विच मेक्स द ओरल कैविटी कनेक्टेड टू द नेजल कैविटी द डिफेक्ट कैन बी इन द मस्कुलर लेयर विच वी कॉल इट एज सॉफ्ट पैलेट डिफेक्ट इट कैन बी इन द बोनी लेयर विच इज द हार्ड पैलेट डिफेक्ट वट कॉज इज क्लेफ्ट लिप एंड क्लेफ्ट पैलेट द एग्जैक्ट कॉज इज अनोन एज पर द एक्सपर्ट देर इज अ जेनेटिक प्री डिस्पोजिशन विच इज बीन एडवोकेटेड एंड सर्टन मेटरनल रिस्क फैक्टर्स हैव बीन डॉक्यूमेंटेड द मेटरनल रिस्क फैक्टर्स इंक्लूड्स फर्स्टली द मेटरनल डायबिटीज especially the diabetes which occur early in the pregnancy first and second trimester of pregnancy history of usage of certain drugs by the mothers such as the anti epileptic group maternal smoking alcohol consumption they also contribute to development of cleft lip and palate so how do we diagnose cleft lip and palate they can be picked up as early as 13 weeks of gestation by ultrasonographic scans however by 20 weeks the muscles have developed so much that they can be easily picked it is very difficult to find cleft palate on ultrasonographic scans as the cleft palate is inside the mouth so scans and radiation do not penetrate that deep so when the baby is born when thorough examination is done by the pediatrician we are able to find cleft palate cleft lip is visible externally so what are the signs and symptoms which the newborn baby have once the baby is born with cleft lip and cleft palate first thing which the child develops is difficulty in feeding so there is a lot of difficulty in feeding as the suckling action is not formed because of the defect in the roof second problem which they have is as the oral cavity is connected to the nasopharynx so the child is prone to develop ear infections especially the middle ear infections later on the child develops difficulty in speech and phonation so the clarity of words or nasal twang is commonly seen in babies with cleft palate deformity cleft lip alone can be managed feeding is not so difficult if the child is having cleft lip alone although most of the cases of cleft lip are diagnosed antenatally and parents are aware about it before the birth for some parents it's it comes as a shock usually the defect occurs as a alone defect in 30% of the cases it may be a part of a syndrome where they need genetic counseling and genetic advice so what problems the little newborn faces when he is born with the congenital defect first problem which the newborn develops is problem with the feeding as the normal child suckles the child who is born with cleft palate and lip is unable to suckle so feeding is a big issue for these babies so mothers have to be trained with long nipple bottles to feed their babies The second problem which these newborns develop is middle ear or ear infections. So as the oral cavity is connected to the nasal cavity and the passage is open, so there is continuity of secretions from the mouth towards the nasopharynx which leads to a lot of middle ear infections. Third problem which the child faces is the problem with speech and articulation. As phonation occurs through a closed compartment in the mouth, since there is a defect in the mouth so they are not able to speak certain words clearly so it is also associated with psychosocial development which occurs later on in the age parents always tend to ask when the child would become normal what are the treatment options available how to prevent the middle ear infection how to feed the baby if the child is having cleft lip alone the surgical repair can be done as early as 3 months of age so there is a 10 10 10 rule for surgical repair of cleft lip so minimum weight should be 10 ounces minimum age should be 10 weeks and the uh, minimum hemoglobin required for surgery should be 10 grams if the child is having cleft palate alone the surgical repair is done at 15 months of age cleft palate defect can be of two types it can be soft palate defect which involves the muscle or the hard palate defect which involves the bone so if the defect is only in the muscle part we can take it up as early as 6 months to 1 year of age the bony defect usually is repaired at a later age 
so in cases where the defect is a combined defect that is both lip and palate the surgical repair is done in two settings first the lip is repaired second the cleft is repaired as far as the most common question which the parents ask in the opd how would the child behave cosmetically for cleft palate repairs the cosmetically a uh, child is fine as the repair is done inside the mouth so nothing is visible outside so a normal person cannot even make out that he's been surgically treated for cleft palate as far as the surgical repair of cleft lip is concerned it depends upon the extent of the defect whether defect is just the midline defect or it is extending to the nose whether it is unilateral or bilateral so if the defect is extensive there are chances the child might develop a scar however with advancement in the plastic surgery and dermatological options these scars can be removed however in few children there is problem with the jaw line and dentition so at times we also need to involve a pediatric orthodontist in the surgical repair and the child might require more than two surgical sittings for the perfect cosmetic repair so how do we prevent cleft lip and cleft palate we can just work on those antenatal risk factors for its prevention folic acid supplementation in early pregnancy has been associated with prevention of cleft lip and cleft palate however there is no documentary evidence so few take home messages for the parents are if your child is born with cleft lip and cleft palate you need not worry with the advancement with the surgical options and medical management the child can grow as a normal child the surgical repairs have to be done in two settings for a combined defect that is first repair between 3 months to 6 months of age second repair between 6 months to 15 months of age depending upon the extent of palate involved first and foremost task as a parent is to work on his nutrition and feeding so you have to be a strong parent and get training to feed your child with this special need that is with a long teeth nipple bottle or with spoon or palady whichever way you are comfortable also as discussed these children are prone to middle ear infections so we have to take special care about their hygiene hand hygiene and hand washing is the key role for every kind of hygiene i would also like to add up that since these babies have problem in phonation or articulation of the word or in normal language what we say speaking clearly they might require a speech therapist as early as 6 months of age certain mothers can also actively take part in teaching their child how to speak mothers can be well trained by these therapists to sum up dear parents if your child is born with cleft lip palate or the combined defect you need not worry there are several treatment options available and the child grows as a normal child as far as his psychosocial development is concerned there are several 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 programs there are several several methods which the parents can be trained and the child can actually grow like a normal child happy parenting